I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi. It's a great way to get to know the Yaku. If you don't know yet, the Yaku are scoring elements and you have to have one Yaku at least in order to qualify to win. There's a link below the video to a lesson playlist with tutorials and also a link to this. This is just a player reference. On the inside is the Yaku table with all the different scoring elements and on the back is actual scoring. So you can download that PDF if you want to follow along. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to say we're the dealer for this first random pull. We're going to do six of them. That's why I have these counters here. And we're going to alternate between east and south round. So I'll just put a one here. So that will just say what seat we're in. Let's draw Dora. So three crack is Dora, and this is the first random pull. So it, for East, we need 13 tiles. So it's East round and we're in East seat. I think since we have only two honors, it's a pair, and it is not going to bring any value to this player's hand because we're in the east seat. This is north, which is seat four. So we could potentially use that for the pair because it will bring no value to the hand. I think what I would do with these tiles is try to get more pairs and then pwn. A pwn is three in a sequence, or three of a kind. So here we have a pair Here's a pair and here's a pair. You need four sets and a pair. Here's three right now. The other option would be to split these up into chis, which are three in a sequence. So there's a potential chi. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, five blocks. Really, this is a stronger plan. This is called pinfu. It's four cheese and a pair, a valueless pair. And you have to have what's called a side weight in order to win. So that has to be your weighting block. So here we have a seven, eight, that would be a side weight. A five, six would be a side weight. This is a closed weight with needing a three in the middle. And this is an edge weight where we need a seven. So with the picking and discarding and decision making, we would need to leave one of these as the winning block. I think this would actually be a better plan than all pwn. And this would be pinfu, and we would be able to reach because pinfu is concealed. We do not have any Dora here because three crack is Dora. So this would be a two Han hand. Each Yaku in this case is worth one Han. If you would do something different, write random pull one and what you would do differently. Let's do random pull two. This time, let's just say we're in seat three. That's not really part of the game. It just kind of randomizes what seat you're in to keep it kind of spontaneous. This is a white dragon. The progression of dragons for Dora is red, white, and green. So green dragon is a Dora. As non-dealer, we get 13 tiles. We have Dora. Okay, so in order to use Dora in these pairs, I think I would try to play all pwn. 
but it's going to be a stretch because there are only two pair here. The other option would be to sacrifice the honors, including Dora, and play Pinfu. So here we have a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi pair. There's a couple of isolated tiles here. So we are on south round seat three, which is west. We do have the wind of the round and Dora. You know what I think I would do? I think I would hold the sevens and try for hunt, uh, Honitsu, which is a half flush. Here we have dots and honors. That way we can keep south and green. Hold the sevens in case we pair up. We could switch to Toy Toy, which is all pwn, and discard these. If you would do something different here, write random pull two under the video in the comment section. And we'll go on to random pull three. And we're on East Round. This time, let's say we're in seat four, because I rolled an eight. Oh, Green Dragon is Dora again. Okay, for these tiles, I think what I would try for here is Pin Fu again. I would sacrifice the honors. Here's a potential Chi, potential Chi, potential Chi. There's a Chi right there. Or we even have two potential Chi's. We still need a pair in here. We have one, two side weights. This is an edge weight, closed weight, closed weight. So these would have to be the waiting blocks. All we really need in here is a pair and to strengthen these weak weights. So I would play Pinfu here. If you would do something different, write random pull three and what you would do. So now we're gonna do four and we're back to, let's see, that's east, this is south. East, south, east, south. So we are on south round. All right, this time I rolled a nine. So let's say we are the dealer, seat one. Four dot is Dora. Okay, we have two honors, five dots, three bams, and we have some cracks, three cracks. These are all isolated. These are all isolated. Here's a potential chi. There's a chi right there. This is going to be a little rough. Now, three dot is Dora, and we have the suit for Dora. So I think what I would try to do here is play Honitsu again and gather dots. Another thing that we might be able to do is hold the simples, which are ones and nines, get rid of the honors first, and maybe play Pinfu and Tanyao. Tanyao is all simples. So that might be a way to keep all these simples and get rid of the terminals here, which are ones and nines. And, oh, you know what? We'd have to get rid of that too. But I would hold that for a while in case dots came in. So that would be my plan here. If you would do something different, let me know. That would be random pull four. So now we're back to East Round, random pull five, and I rolled a seven, which would be West. So let's say we're in West seat this time. Two Bam is Dora. We have Dora. 
Okay, we also have Akadora. That's the red five. That is worth a Han also, just like Dora. But red fives are called Akadora. These are isolated. This is a potential chi, isolated, potential chi, potential chi here. I suppose we could do a potential chi there too, but maybe, you know, I think I would get rid of the honors and try for pinfu again. I think pinfu is probably a really common yaku because there are so many numbered tiles. Three suits numbered one through nine. There are four winds and three dragons. So it makes sense that pinfu would be a very common yaku to play. To increase the value though, you would need to find other ways to add yaku, like for example, um, Tanyao, which is all simple. So we would need to get rid of the nine bam so that they're all two through eight. Those are simples. So that would be Pinfu and Tanyao. And since both of those are concealed, sometimes Tanyao can be opened, but where I play, it's concealed. You could also reach. So if we did Pinfu, Tanyao, and reach, that would be three Yaku and three Han. Each one of those Yaku is worth one Han. And then of course we would have Akadora and Dora. I think that's what I would do. I would get rid of this and collect all simples and attempt Pinfu. If you would do something different, write random pull five and what you would do. We're back to south round, last one. I rolled a nine, that would be east. Oh, we get one extra. Okay, this time again here, we have two Bam as Dora. And we have Dora, we have two Dora. Look at that. And we have a lot of Bams. Ooh, this would be a nice hand. We got a lot of cracks here though. Ooh, we even have a pair. Okay. So let's see, we have a pair, pair, pair. We do have a chi in here though, right there. These are all simples. We have one honor. You know what I would do? Get rid of the terminals and play Tanyao again. I would try for Tanyao. Now these we might even be able to turn into a pure double chi if we can get four bams. Pure double chi is the same chi in the same suit. So let's just say we try it. We would have, these would be isolated. We would have one, two, three blocks and a pair. So we would definitely need another, another chi and a pair in here. We could break up the five and use that to create another potential chi here. So that would be one, two, three, four blocks. All we would need to do would be to pair one of these up. So I think what I would do is discard these, try for Pinfu and Tanyao and Reach. And then once these are gone, depending on how the drawing goes, discard this one because we do need a pair, and if there's a five crack already here, there's only two more left. So I would hope to pair up the three dot. And the nice thing here is these are both side weights. Now, the challenge here is that a one bam can make this a chi. So if we end up drawing in one bams, we would lose Tanya, which is all simples. A one bam is a terminal. Terminals are ones and nines. So that's a little bit sketchy there. We would have to be able to draw in fours. The other option would be to play Honitsu, but that would be, 
that would leave six discards, which is significant. I, I think it's we'd be better to try for all simples and pure double chi at least. If we did that, that would be two Yaku and two Han. Oh, and two Dora. That would be pretty good. That would be one, two, three, four. If we did it concealed, we could even reach. I think though, getting both fours is gonna be a challenge. So that would depend on picking and discarding. But this would be a fun one to see through to the end. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps your decision making and if it helps you learn the Yaku. It helped me and that's why I continue to do it. I wanna practice so that when I play with other people, I don't stumble trying to figure out what Yaku to play. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.